Hi, it's Linda here and I'm going to show you how to assemble your crochet heart boxes so they look like this. So you'll get a part, you'll get an envelope like this one which has got four pieces in it. So just open it up and there's four pieces like that. So there's four pieces because there's two different boxes and the way to tell the top and the bottom apart is the top piece has a circle. So if we look at our pieces to see here, so this one is a top, this one doesn't have a circle, so it's a bottom. This one here doesn't have any circles, so it's a bottom, and then this one is a top. So how to assemble your pieces, uh, to open them out like this, and then fold it so the inside is in, and you'll notice, so one side kind of has a groove and one side kind of has a raised bump. You can also see by the texture um, the difference. So with the raised bump, fold your sides like this. Especially how to do that again. So this one is the, um, the outside, so just pop the circle out and then fold like that and like that. Same here, there and there. So we're just folding the sides. Oops, one minute, get me. And then same here, pop the circle out. Like that. And then with these little tabs, fold them in. Okay, so now what to do is put this tab bit closest to you and then hold, fold up the sides that don't have the tab and put them there. No, sorry, I've just told you the wrong thing. <laughs> okay, bit without tabs this, um, in front of you and then fold up the sides that do have the tabs like that and then fold this piece over the top so it's holding the tabs and then just fold these sides down and then lock them into place with these little um, locking pieces um, and then do the same on the other side so tabs in position and then fold the non-tab piece over the top and then lock in the corners like that and these boxes with the locking corners are easier to assemble than some of the other boxes I've used that don't have the locking corners and they can be a little bit tricky. So we've just done the top with the um, half circle on the outside and so now grab your bottom, open it all out, we're going to fold the sides like that, so just fold the sides first. And once again, raise bit on the inside. So do that on all the sides. And then fold the bits with the tabs in like that. And then this bit over the top of the tabs. And then fold the other pieces down. It's almost like origami, isn't it? And lock this into position. And then the same thing here. Tabs into position that over the top and then fold them in. And then do the same thing with your other pieces. So that's the bottom, doesn't have the half circle. And then the half circle one goes on top like that. So you've got another um, You've got another one in your box, in your envelope, so do that as well. And so you've got lots of different options for wrapping um, your box. You can just wrap it as it is with some beautiful paper or just tie. It looks really nice, just tied with a beautiful ribbon on it. And so I thought I would show you this one and how it has the, um, how nicely the heart is in the middle. They, oh, there's an upside down heart in the middle, so they look really beautiful. And if you want to know how I tie the ribbon on, so I cut a piece that will go wrap all around the box, 
and then um, with some extra for tying. So I put it on the front. So this is the front side. I've got it running across the front. I turn it over. I get my two ends, hold them together, and then just adjust that up and adjust the wrapping around the box so they're roughly equal. And then do this. So they look like that. So I've just kind of crossed them over. Turn your box over and then thread each end in under there. And do that one here. And then just tie a bow like this. So wrap that around and tighten. And then do an ear, an ear, wrap that around there and pull that through. So there you go. That's how I, that's how to assemble the heart gift boxes and that's even how to put a little pretty tie bow on it. Bye.